Welcome back to Better Kansas City. Now, the Caesar salad is a mainstay on just about any restaurant menu, right? But not all Caesars are created equal. We're back in the kitchen with Chef Jasper Rambley for a Caesar salad 101. Uh, is this 101 or are we jumping more to a well, master level class here? I'd say 101 because we're doing the basics, but okay. we're going back in time. Yeah. Now this, what I want to talk about this because I know this is something that your your father made. Exactly. It was at the restaurant and then it went away. It went and away came and back. So now it's all about table side. So every restaurant can have Caesar salad. Yeah. But who does it table side like Jasper? So is this similar then to your table side mozzarella exactly. that you do? Exactly. And that's why we did so many people come in the restaurant and say, hey, where's the mozzarella? And I have to walk up to the table and say, not until <laughs> April 15th, you know, tax day. Come on, it's only good thing about tax day. But Caesar salad, my father started at the old restaurant, and it was just along with crepe Suzette, tableside mm -hmm. fettuccine, the flambe bananas foster. So is, is table side preparation more of a tradition in Italian uh, dining, or is it just, is it something that you've just kind of fell in love with and you just want to bring that part to your restaurant? Good question. I think it's about theater. I want to interact with my yeah. customer. I want to talk to my customers instead of just going to the table, how's your dinner this evening? This way I get to talk to them, tell them a little history, <laughs> like it was invented in 1924. Yeah. It's more than just more than just a, a dinner, then it's, exactly. it's, it's theater. Exactly. Okay. And it was started in 1924 by Cesar Cardini. A lot of people think the Emperor Caesar. Yeah. This was his favorite. Not at all. Caesar Cardini in Mexico, Tijuana, Mexico. Really? And okay. he didn't have a lot of ingredients. A lot of the actors came down for a big party from Hollywood to, to Tijuana. So what did he have available? Anchovies, garlic, lots of bread, and, and romaine. And let's talk about the anchovies as we get started here, because I wouldn't necessarily think about anchovies in my Caesar salad, because exactly. I mean, typically you think it's just about the romaine, you think about that, the, the, the dressing, a little bit of cheese on top, right? And my father told me this long ago, you shouldn't taste one single ingredient. Okay. So the anchovies should not stand out, the vinegar should not stand out. Everything should be well incorporated, well blended, to give it a great flavor. Okay, well I'm ready to, uh, to check out the theater. Well. A little going, bit. Do I need to wear a tie to the theater? I'm not no. wearing a tie today. We'll draw the, uh, <laughs> you know, the big curtains here, and now we're ready. So okay. a little bit of anchovy and garlic. I already started, and I salted the bowl, but just salt the bowl just very, very quickly. You know, you salt don't the put, bowl? Yeah, and, and, and that's in addition bowl. to the salt in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the anchovies? The original bowl from Jasper's. Oh, look at that. 1960-something. Oh, be very careful with that bowl. Yeah, everyone, how about okay? it? <laughs> we have other ones, but this is the original I brought no today. No drop seeds today. Yeah, so the anchovies are already in oil. Okay. But don't be afraid of them. They're salty. Why are we? Why do we have such a weird vibe about anchovies? I don't know. My mom and my nana used to hide the anchovies in the pizza dough. Yeah. So everybody <laughs> loved the pizza. They never knew there was anchovies. But they never knew there was anchovies. No, so the in truth it, huh? and the advertising came out. Then you had to tell people there's anchovies in the sauce <laughs> and the pizza. So what I've learned from Jasper today is is hide the mushrooms and hide the anchovies. <laughs> exactly. Anchovies. Come on. Okay. <laughs> but we're not trying to hide some. The flavors there. Look. Do you see big chunks of anchovies? No, there? you don't see oh. them in, in the finished plate here at all. There's no. So look here. See it's, there. it's a puree. Okay. Along with a little bit of lemon juice. All right. Make sure you don't have any seeds in there. You don't want too much lemon juice, not a lot of acid. Mm -hmm. A little bit of vinegar, of course. And we create this nice little paste right here. From there, if you open up a little Worcestershire sauce, which do you know the second ingredient of Worcestershire? I only know because you told me a few minutes ago is anchovies. Anchovies, so we'll put a few drops of that in here. And then a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. This is so simple. Okay. Now. I love the extra virgin olive oil. Yes, it does make a difference. Mm -hmm. First cold press, it gives a lot of flavor. Okay. And now you have your bowl. I'll I'm let you do the tossing. How's that? Oh, I don't know about that. This is 101. Come on. <laughs> there, we'll put that in there. All right. So it, when you... Oh, oh no, no, you're fine. A little bit of grated cheese. There you go. It's perfect. And now add a little crouton. Some of the add croutons. Some croutons to the top. Okay. I have to do this. We figured, my dad always did this, my brother, myself, my nephew, about 10 per person. Really? That usually is what the measurement comes out to be. And I just count while I'm talking to you, so. People, I already will, lost track. people will run this back and say, how many did he put on yeah. there? Yeah. So as many croutons, now the croutons I make at the restaurant, and they're seasoned with a little bit of garlic yeah, and a little bit of Pecorino like Romano like. cheese. Okay. And that's it. And that's it, and that's it right there. This is it, the famous Caesar salad. I brought a fork for you to try this out, right. and uh, come on. It doesn't get any better. Should I go after the, after the big bowl or that go one Go for the big there? bowl. We just made that one just okay. in front of you. Here we go. Let's try this one. I want to make sure. So on the bottom, there's a little bit of that paste. I want to make sure I get some of that anchovy. Yeah. Because I want to try. I don't think I've ever had anchovies before. But I've, really I've had, good, I've had good. Worcestershire sauce when I have. Right? All right. Is that the right, right way to say it? Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Or? Worcestershire. <laughs> okay. We have to ask Kimberly Stern that. She's the, she'll tell me how to say it properly. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you think? 
there's some pepper in there. There's a little pepper in there. <laughs> I said about 10 per person. Yeah. Come on. It was good. All right, Jasper, thank you very much. Oh, that thank was, you. That was awesome. We really appreciate that. All right.